So for today, we're going to be looking at the Iron Counter Shade. This is the new shader from Iron Banner. Do note that Iron Banner is currently available and you have four days until Iron Banner is over. And this is the last Iron Banner. So I do suggest you guys farm this because this is a really cool shader. We're going to be going through how it shaders, the off colors, if it has any, and some of the armor sets that I've made with this shader. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. We are going to be going in depth with this one just because this is a really special shader. So let me know what you guys think and let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the plate armor, then the cloth armor, and then the glow. Do note that this is an interesting shader. So for the plate armor, it's going to be silver is the main color, like a chrome silver. The off color, if you can even call it that, is kind of this green, even though there really isn't an off color per se, uh, just because the green and the silver are just going to be there automatically. So for me, the off color would most likely be this color right here on this helmet, which is really funny considering that that's also an off color to the cloth armor, but it apparently is also the off color to plate armor. So not a lot to say about the plate armor because uh, specifically the main special focus is the cloth armor, which let's just get into it. So for cloth, this is where it gets interesting because there's a lot of colors to this one and textures as well. So the first one that you guys are going to notice is immediately there's going to be chainmail. So there's going to be certain cloth armor pieces that have chainmail on it, which is really, really cool. There is some pieces that look really, really bad just because the chainmail uh, is like really enlarged. So you do have to be careful of what you actually use on it on. Also, it, it all looks kind of weird in certain armor pieces because there's like one cloth piece and like an armor piece and it's just gonna look really off especially if the sizing of the chainmail looks bad be aware that the chainmail also has different hues there is a silver one that's just the basic one and then there's a gold hue or like a bronze hue not bronze copper it's in like an orange gold kind of color uh at least with this cloak for the other textures this is where it gets interesting because you have like this leather almost like a distressed leather color uh, and texture there is this brown color right here which is really interesting because again that color and texture is also part of the plate armor but it's a, it's a super off color that even off color or armor pieces that have off color sets don't use that color so it's very very rare but for the cloth armor it, it does use it quite a bit and as you guys can see from the bottom one this is just how all of it looks total so not nothing really too crazy to talk about this one, aside from the fact that you just get chainmail as an effect, which is really cool. And the fact that you get a lot of textures in this shader, you get a lot of textures, you get like a lot of leather, a lot of a lot of bumps and obviously the chainmail as well. Uh, as for glows, this is where it gets interesting. There's like it's a green hue to it, but then uh, you will have moments where It'll be like a little bit of green hue, but it'll be also masked with some darkness. As you guys can see from the first picture, uh, it's like half of that is green and then the other half is just dark. That is very indicative considering there's some uh, helmets that just the eyes are just completely dark and just snippets of green. So you do have to be careful with this one because it doesn't it's not a universal glow. It's literally either you have a really bright green or you have something that's super dark and hints of green. As for the example sets, this is where it's pretty funny considering we're going to be looking at my Hunter Titan Warlock. Nothing too, too, too surprising there, but the interesting part is how I use the shader. So to start off the Hunter, this one is leaning hard on the Iron Counter Shades uh, chainmail effect. As you guys can see from all of the pieces that I'm wearing, uh, Way Lauren's Iron Mask because I'm going for a nightly look and it makes sense considering I'm using chainmail. Uh, Thalia's Reach because uh, it's one of my favorite uh, pieces to do with a nightly look. For the chest piece Iron Companion Vest because I like the fact that the stomach has the chain mill and then it goes all the way down to the Nemean Strides which is really really cool. And then the Lux Cloak. Uh, I always pair this one with the Way Lauren's Iron Mask just because I really like it. So this one is going heavily on the on the chainmail just because each class is going to be leaning into a strong point of the shader. This one is the chainmail for the Titan. It's actually going to be the fact that the mask of the quiet one uh, has chainmail already on the mask. So I really wanted to lean into that a little bit more and also have some silver 
from other shaders as well. So Empirical Imperative for Mask of the Quiet One, just so I can retain some of that silver. Uh, Nemean Gauntlets and Wolf Kiss Plate with in silvered snare, so that way I can have that silver, but also have some black uh, or dark color for the fur, for the chest piece. The Nemean Gauntlets specifically because the Nemean Gauntlets already have chainmail as well. So again, I'm leaning into the chainmail, but I'm also leaning into the fact that both of these pieces already have chainmail on them. And then the Nightly Noir Greaves, just because again, I'm going for kind of like a new a nightly look, I guess, even though I'm using a Viking chest piece, but it don't matter. And then a Pylos Following Mask or Mark, just because why the hell not? And also I do like it. So this one is more leaning towards the fact that I'm wearing uh, pieces that already have chainmail, chain mail, and I'm just leaning into it and adding a little bit here and there. That's really it. And I actually really do like this one. The only thing I would probably switch out is the chest piece. Maybe just switch that out and use another piece and maybe switch the iron counter shade into it just so I can have a little bit more brown in there or just have another shader that has brown. Either way, I do like this one, but my favorite one has to be the Warlock, surprisingly. And this one is leaning into the off color of the cloth, which is going to be this brown leather color. And for this one, I immediately wanted to go for the nothing manacles just because that one does have chain as well. But for the helmet, dendrite shimmer cover with amethyst veil. So that way I can get that rich purple and amethyst veil for the gauntlets just because I want that black, even though it doesn't do much for the glow. For the chest piece and boots, we're both using the Street Scholar robes and the Street Scholar boots. This is pretty interesting because I usually don't like to pair the same boots. And to be quite honest, you can switch out the boots for literally any other piece, considering there's a lot of other cool pieces that go with Street Scholar robes. So I'm not really too worried about that. It's just too more. It's just more to showcase the fact that I'm using a lot of pieces that are off colors. So again, these iron counter shade, I'm using it in a way where there, there's almost no uh, chain mail in this set aside from small pieces in the jacket and the boots. Other than that, it's all the off color. And then for the bond, Lux bond with Amethyst Veil so I can get that purple. I wanted to lean into that purple just because again, I wanted to use the Nothing Manacles because the Nothing Manacles actually have chain and obviously we're using a chain mail set. So uh, from there, I was just like, brown and purple i'm not the biggest fan of that color combination but i am a big fan of just like the fact that i'm using a lot of pieces that kind of make sense nothing manacle has chains which means i have to stick with that purple iron counter shade because that's the shader we're, we're showcasing right now and in that way i was just like fuck it we'll just lean into the purple and the off color for iron counter shade as well so warlocks titans hunters let me know what you guys think about your example sets this one was a pretty long video but i did want to at least showcase some of these because i think they're really cool and this shader is super dope i really do suggest you guys at least grind it out so that way you guys can pick up this shader because again this shader is super super cool you get chain mail you get gold and well i shouldn't say gold it's like a gold copper chain mail and then a silver chain mail but you also get this really cool off color with cloth armor specifically like a leather look which is super super cool so let me know what you guys think. Be safe. I will see you guys later.